Zens are taking over the game in NBA 2K24. And today I pulled up on a Zen up guard on the 5K court and stage. So I was chilling in the stage and I saw an NFL player on the 5K. And that NFL player happened to be Keishan Butte. And I'm a huge LSU fan, so I kind of wanted to pull up on him. And that turned out to be a terrible mistake because as y'all can tell from the title and the thumbnail, guard was Zen out of his mind. And you can definitely see it from the gameplay. I mean, the shots that he would go up the court and shoot, like you really cannot go up the court and take those shots unless you have a Zen. Like it was insane what he was shooting. But the game was very, very close throughout. I don't think anyone got more than like a two or three point lead throughout the game. But what happened after the game was even crazier. So y'all are definitely gonna wanna stick around for that. That's pretty much all I got to say. Let's go ahead and get straight into the gameplay. First play of the game, it actually started off with the stop. And that was not something we saw too much throughout this game as he didn't really get a stop on me too much. We didn't really get a stop on the guard too much because obviously he was in. There's nothing we can really do about that. The craziest thing to me is they didn't actually go for a shot first possession of the game. And usually you would think that that's what a Zenner would go for because it would catch like the entire team off guard. They didn't do that though. They went for a layup. You see like right now, like we had no idea we were playing a Zenner because their 2K card at the beginning of the game, it said he shot 53. I shot 56. I actually shot better than him. We had no idea he was Zenning. But first two plays of the game, we got back-to-back -back stops. And that's obviously really big whenever you're playing a Zenner because all you really need is stops when you're playing a Zenner. Look at what that boy Jember is doing to him. He can't even get past half court right now. He has to chunk up a fade from half court. That's a brick. We're up 2-0 and we got the ball back. Look. We score right here we're up two possessions that's really big um and as long as we keep scoring we basically will keep the lead now of course until they stop shooting threes then we got to start getting threes up of our own but right now we're in a really really good spot four seconds on the clock i don't really have anything i'm not open i have to shoot a contested fade but my boy Jember gets the rebound, goes right back up with it. We're up four to zero. So you know how I said earlier how we're in a really, really good spot until the guard starts getting up threes. Well, the guard got up a three and he's not going to miss open ever. Score is now three to four. If we still like score any bucket here, we're still in a really, really good spot. We'll be up six to three if we get a two. We'll be up seven to three if we get a three. And right here we get a three. The guard decides to leave me wide open. That's not something you want to do. If y'all have seen my build video, I have a 98 midi and a 92 three-pointer. That's the build that I'm on, and I'm not going to miss. I, I got too high of a green window, get every jump shot in the game. I'm not going to get stopped, but right here, the guard hits the big on the back door, just takes the safe bucket. They're playing for a stop, and that's not something that they should play for. I'm not going to lie, because I was completely cooking that boy Kayshawn. Right here, I hit a tough, tough, tough gather. But if you didn't believe that the guard had us in, you should be able to believe that now because look at what this guard hits. I mean, like, come on. Like, come on, bro. Like, 2K. I, I don't know. It's been a problem since 21, really. I know 21 was different because I think that was a strike pack. I know right now it's like Titans or whatever. But, bro, I mean, come, do something about it. But right here, I ain't gonna lie. It looks like I got a Zen because I made a 45% contested red. That boy Kayshawn went to game chat to complain. Listen, bro, don't complain. Your guard is end up. What you, like, what could you possibly be complaining about? Right here, the guard gets an open look. He greens it. Like I said, this game is a shootout. It's like, I don't think anyone got up by more than four points. It was really close throughout. And I ain't gonna lie, I flooded Kayshawn with threes, though. He had no stick. Right here, kill him with another L2 cancel behind the back. Green. we're up 16 to 11 he could not hold me i think at one point the big ended up guarding me it was bad right here guard gets an open three he's never missing that we're in a pretty good spot like i said all we need if we make a two we're up two possessions we're fine like i said big is switched on to me Kayshawn, he knows he can't stick me that's fine you know what i mean that's fine look i got a slower player on me now i ain't gonna lie he did box me though i'll, I'll give it to him he did box me but we get the rebound i'm wide open mr get a stop is jumping at me he knows i'm gonna green that if he doesn't and we got five seconds on the clock we need a bucket what do i do midi fade that's automatic i got a 98 mid-range never missing that i'm never missing that especially with sharp take that's basically like a 100 something uh 100 something midi like i'm never missing that right here the guard pulls up from afghanistan that's green i mean there's nothing you can do about that there's literally nothing you can do about that unless you get like 
It lets you jump at him, basically. That's the only way you're stopping that. Right here, I get another open midi fade. I missed it. That is like, I never missed that shot right there. Like, that is never a shot that I miss. I have a 98 midi with sharp take, but I miss it. And right here, get a clutch stop on the guard. That is a clutch shot, because if he hits that, it's 20 to 18. And we're probably not going to win the game, because he'll probably go get another three. Because, you know, obviously he has a zen. He can make whatever he wants. Right here, I'm just trying to take the safe bucket. If I get a midi fade, we're up 20 to 17. If I force a three... There's no point in forcing a three there. You got to take the safe bucket. But we're in a really, really comfortable spot. All we really need is a stop. And fortunately, that is exactly what we get. We get a tip pass. The big pass fakes, we actually get a pluck off that, which is a really, really clutch steal. And we're up 20 to 17. Now, right here, I probably should just go take the two. Instead, I decide to shoot it from deep. And I green it. We win 23 to 17. Really, really good game. And man, like these zinners, they gotta be stopped, bro. So, like I said in the intro, there was actually something that happened after the game that was even crazier than anything that happened during the game. So, about 30 minutes after that game happened, I got a party invite from an account called II Keishan II. Obviously, that was Keishan Butte. And I really had no idea why he was inviting me to a party because I went to game chat to say GG's to him. He didn't say anything to me. So I didn't know if he was inviting me to a party to pull my IP. I don't know if he was inviting me to a party to be on some toxic behavior like i had no idea what to expect anyways i decided to just say screw it i joined the party and y'all can see that screenshot on screen right now and i do not have the clip of me talking to him unfortunately like i said i didn't know if he was trying to pull my ip i didn't know if he was trying to be toxic but what he was trying to do he wanted me to help him set up his zen i'm not joking he thought i was zen up so he asked me to help him set up his zen i really had no idea what to tell him like i, I didn't know what to say because obviously i'm not zen up like, I really did not know what this it was probably like the most awkward party I've ever been in like it just randomly went silent every now and like I had no idea what to say but at one point in the party I did ask him was your guard zend up unfortunately I don't have the clip of him saying yes but in the party he did tell me that the guard was zend up 2k24 what a game man I, I don't know anymore I really don't know anymore but it really is crazy to me bro even NFL players are comfortable enough to cheat on this game 2k doesn't do something about zens like this game is just gonna continue to go downhill like it really is making a stage setting unplayable i mean even the park setting like you shouldn't be able to spend a couple hundred dollars and load up the game and just be the best like they have to do something about zens though i mean they have been a problem since 2k21 we are in 2k24 now that is the that's a three-year gap like they gotta do something like you're a billion dollar company there's gotta be something you can do that's pretty much it for the video if y'all enjoyed make sure to drop a like and drop a sub to the channel we're on the road to 6k now if you haven't seen my old sim video i highly recommend checking that out that game was very very entertaining as well but that's pretty much it and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video